the BWB XP offers the user a multiple ion multi-point calibration. For this calibration, three ions will be used, sodium, potassium and lithium, at three different concentrations. Standard one has 90 parts per million sodium, 40 parts per million potassium and 10 parts per million lithium. Standard 2 has 100, 50 and 20 respectively. Standard 3 has 110, 60 and 30 also respectively. From the main menu we can go through the calibrations menu and to the calibrate ions menu where we will opt for number 8, multi. Or we can press the multi mode key and go to the same location directly. For each ion, pressing its respective key will toggle between yes and no. Yes, it will be included in the calibration. No, it will not be included. The up and down keys can also be used to toggle between yes and no. In this calibration, we toggle to yes for sodium, potassium and lithium. We are prompted for a number of points. Enter three. Run the blank as before. We are now prompted for standard one, sodium, enter 90. Potassium, enter 40, and lithium, enter 10. Aspirate standard one and key accept. We are now prompted for standard two. Enter 100 for sodium, 50 for potassium, and 20 for lithium. Aspirate standard 2 and watch on the FP PC. Repeat for standard 3 by entering 110 for sodium, 60 for potassium, and 30 for lithium. Aspirate standard 3 and watch on the FP PC. Remember to tick the retrieve calibration boxes for each ion calibrated. The multi-mode calibrations offered by the BWBXP has allowed us to cut our calibration time by two-thirds. The more ions and points desired, the more time you will save. Now we are ready to take some measurements. Start the FPPC software and begin to realize the full potential of this free feature. Click on the report tab. Now you have the option to click the logo box and add your own logo to any reports that are created. The job batch name must be filled in. Let's use BWB demo. The sample ID box must also be filled in. In this instance, let's type in sample one. Click on the format button to open these preferences. You have a variety of settings available to you during setup which allow you to further customize your XP experience, including report names and report layouts. Close the box. Tick the ion box to watch it on the one minute graph. Any or all of the ions can be graphed as long as they are calibrated. The one minute graph is continually updated so you can monitor the instrument and see when stability is achieved. Now go back to the BWBXP and take a reading. First of all, press the accept key or read shortcut key and then aspirate your sample. Be sure to monitor both the BWB XP and the FP PC software to see when the readings, both numerical and graphical, have stabilized. When the readings are stable, press the take reading button. Retrieve the report by ticking the last button. Your report will then be generated and will include the selected logo, operator details, date and time of the reading, calibration information and the one minute graph. This report can be stored electronically or printed and sent to colleagues. Truly a valuable tool in any modern laboratory. There are two icons following the mnemonic representing the ion on the LCD display. The first display is a representation of the graph of the concentration of the ion. A line angled forward indicates that the concentration is increasing. A line angled backwards indicates that the concentration is decreasing. A flat line indicates that the concentration is stable. A reading should only be taken when there is a flat line. The second icon represents the noise in the system. A full black rectangle means that there is a lot of noise. A single dot means that there is very little noise. When a sample is first introduced, the icon will change to completely black and will gradually reduce to a single dot. 
A reading should only be taken when the icon shows a single dot. An exciting feature of the BWB XP is the calibration correction. Flame photometers are known to drift over time due to temperature changes and flame setting changes, and as a result, often need to be calibrated. The calibration correction will shift the entire curve to remedy the change. A multiple points curve can be corrected by aspirating just one solution, a real time saver. First let us present a scenario where we aspirate the high calibration solution of potassium, 60 ppm. The readings show that it has drifted. No problem, we simply press the back key, go to calibrations, then choose edit calibration. Choose ion. Now you will see three options. Delete calibration, correct blank for baseline drift, or correct max for curb drift. Choose correct max. While aspirating the 60 ppm solution, press accept. The calibration has now been corrected. Now that we have corrected the calibration for drift, we can look at the correction. Press back to take you to the main menu. Choose view calibration. Press the K key and the potassium correction is displayed. If we now go back to the FPPC report tab and click the K calibration box, we can also see that the correction is displayed there. And there it is, the BWV XP Performance Plus Flame Photometer, demonstrating the features and benefits that make this the most advanced flame photometer in the market, generations ahead of its competition.